Pilots. Today is Wednesday, Wednesday October, October 30th, 2024. Hey, Layla, you won't believe what day it is today. Um, is this some kind of holiday I don't know about? No, it's actually candy, National Candy Corn Day. Can you believe it? Candy corn, isn't that just the Halloween leftover candy nobody wants? No way. Candy corn is a fall fastic. It's sweet, it's festive, and it deserves a moment of spotlight. Really? What's so special about it? For starters, look at the colors of a candy corn, orange, yellow, and white, fall in candy form. Plus, it's been around since 1880. It's over a century of deliciousness. Okay, I'll admit it. It does look kind of cute. And Piles, it's time for a Way Back Wednesday. Today's spotlight is an 11th grader who packs a punch, literally. He's a boxer outside of school, and when he's not in the ring, he'll find himself hanging with his girlfriend, playing Call of Duty, or diving into Roblox. His favorite food, fried chicken. And for snacks, he's all about Takis, Brisk, and Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. And to wash it all down, a classic fruit punch I see. He's currently sitting right now in Coach Co Chef Nabong's culinary class. Can you guess who it is, Pioneers? Hang tight. The, end of, the reveal is coming at the end of today's broadcast. And with that, I'm Layla. And I'm Diana. And, and this, this is, is the Pioneer, Pioneer Press Sugar Stack Edition. <laughs> the College Speaky Series for the University of California, Riverside. If you're interested in the college or wanting to learn more about different colleges, sign up using the QR codes that are going to be on around school on posters and flyers. This event will take place on October 30th during Piles period and lunch in the College and Career Center. Applications for the fall semester for CSF is today. Submit applications to Ms. Keneally or Ms. Munosato if you are interested in a broad position, please email Ms. Keneally or Ms. Munosato by November 1st. Happy Red Red Week! This year's theme is Life is a Movie, Film Drug Free. Staying drug free means investing in your current and future health. You don't have to use drugs to fit in. There are other ways to belong. You've heard about pills killing young people, right? A teenager takes what they thought was a prescription pill and never wakes up. We're not talking about a drug overdose, accidental or otherwise. We're talking about being fatally poisoned by a single pill, one that looks like a legit Xanax or Percocet or Oxycontin. Except these pills aren't legit. They're counterfeit, fake. They can kill you within minutes. And it's happening all around you. The fastest growing group of victims is young and inexperienced. They take pills for different reasons. Some of them are experimenting. Others are stressed out and self-medicating. Many victims died at home in their beds after swallowing just one pill. Every young person is at risk. So what's going on? We live in a quick fix, pill popping culture and we've been taught to trust prescription pills. In some cases, these medications are necessary, but they can also cause addiction. That's why we're in the midst of an opioid epidemic. So many people in the US became addicted to opioids that drug dealers started making fake pills to meet demand. The active ingredient of choice for these counterfeit pills? Fentanyl, a powerful synthetic opioid it's so potent, it has to be highly regulated. There is no standard amount of fentanyl in these illegally made pills. They're not prescription medications. They're just thrown together in people's basements and garages with other cheap ingredients like filler powder, impressed into pill form. The dosage is never even. That's why they're so deadly. But fentanyl can be cheaply imported, and it's also highly addictive, which makes it ideal for creating fake pills. The drug cartels got involved too. They started to produce these counterfeit prescription pills containing fentanyl, known as fentapills, on a massive scale, flooding the US with millions of fakes dressed up to look like the real thing. You can't tell them apart. Authorities can't fix this or make it go away. 
but you don't have to be the next victim. If you don't know where your pills are coming from, don't take them. Don't believe sellers on Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, or any app. Don't believe friends who get pills from supposedly reliable dealers. Don't believe someone who says a pill has been tested. You may have heard of test strips that can detect fentanyl and illegally made drugs, but they're not reliable with pills where fentanyl can be unevenly distributed. There's no way to figure out whether a pill contains fentanyl without grinding it up and dissolving it. In other words, destroying it. So if a drug comes to you in pill form, it hasn't been tested, period. And even if you test one pill in a batch, you have no way of knowing whether the other pills contain fentanyl. If it's not from a doctor or pharmacist, it's not legit. Continue to earn spirit points by wearing a jersey or blue on Friday. Hispanic Club Latin Dance Group is working on a routine for Dia de los Muertos. Practice is tomorrow, Thursday, October 31st at 3.30 p.m. in room 40. See Amy Dane or Miss Kirby in room 26 if you have any questions. Now we have a Piles on the Street with Annie at the College and Career Fair. Let's see how it went. Steven, Steven roll, roll it! Can we talk about what you're doing right now? Oh, hi. I'm um, decorating cakes with fondant. Hey everyone, I'm Annie and I'm here at the AUHSD College and Career Fair and I'm here with... Brody Hoffman. And... Mr. OMG Olmedo. I'm Mr. Fleshman. Sergeant First Class Collier with the Army National Guard. Aubrey. And Gracie. Christopher Vargas. For Manahan High School. Mo, are you student ambassador at Western? And Kalina from the student ambassador from Savannah. I just wanted to ask you guys, what are you guys more, the most excited about about the career fair? Um, there's an eSports corner. As soon as I'm on my rest time, I'm going to be over there gaming the whole time. What about you? Um, I'm looking forward to talking to the colleges and getting to know more about how I can apply to their school. Take a look at uh, all the colleges, but also I'm totally impressed with all of the programs that the high schools have like Western High School and their Creator Academy and the Pio Press. So I'm totally stoked to see like all of these things that all the high school students are doing and able to showcase to all the people coming here. So it's awesome. Excited about seeing all the colleges and seeing what they have to offer. And yeah, just talking to them, getting to know what their programs and what kind of programs they offer. What about you? Um, I'm kind of excited to see all the people from the other schools and their experiences and their electives that they have to offer as well. I'm here for the Simon Builder Program. What does it do? Oh, so this, this program has four different types of levels, bit of, bit of one, bit of two. Those first two levels, you develop new skills that help you learn the basics of the wall. Bit of three, bit of four, it helps you start building the actual building. So this whole building, this whole building was built from bit of, th bit of three, bit of four. So we build this from scratch, interior, exterior, electrical, plumbing, and all that. So we are looking for the best and brightest uh, future soldiers uh, to join the Army National Guard uh, and you know help defend our communities. What are the benefits of the Army National Guard? Okay, so our biggest benefit is gonna be college, college and careers. So we have a lot, over 130 different careers and a lot of benefits for college to include ROTC. What was the process of getting ready for today? Uh, basically, I just had to uh, hop on the phone and tell uh, Mr. Almeida what to bring, and I just brought my smiling face, and that's about it. <laughs> so you brought everything today? Well, I mean, look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> I mean, we're going to get so many people, so much attention, so much traction. All day. All day. So I'm excited, Annie. I really am. <laughs> of course. And so one of my highlights, of course, every time is when I get to come to these events and I get to see the students that I have taught when they were in eighth graders, and I get to see them as high school students and find out they're doing amazing things. So it's totally awesome for me. So. It fills my heart that I get to catch up with my former students, like you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys know what career you guys want to take yet? Um, I'm thinking I want to become a mechanical engineer, so I'll be looking around for like uh, stuff like that, like STEM majors. Um, I want to become a doctor in the neurology field. I either want to be a real estate agent or I want to be an ultrasound technician. Um, I either want to go into the medical or education career well, as an ultrasound technician or a kindergarten teacher. And look. We Cookies. Got Famous Amos. You know what I mean? Spo we are sponsored by Famous Amos. So come to the booth, you get free Famous Amos. We got orange juice, we got it all. It's exciting. I already ate a whole bag of cookies. <laughs> if I ain't got it, then double the total. We got the same vices, same prices that them hustlers quoted. Wow, it's really cool to see all the different pathways and career you can learn about in the career fair if you guys went.
Do you have what it takes to outsmart your opponent, think several moves ahead, and maybe even pull off a checkmate? If so, come join the chess club. Whether you're a grandmaster in the making or just learning the basics, everyone is welcome. We meet every Thursdays during lunch, so bring your lunch and your game face to test your skills, make new friends, and have some fun. Check this out. Steven, take it away. Mr. Sharma, it's your turn. Check. Mate. I play chess. Do you? See you this Thursdays for some strategies and good times. Checkmate your boredom and join us. Last call for all aspiring us. Athletes, the Western Pioneer track team is on the lookout for talent. Whether you sprint, jump, or throw, we want you to join us. Be a part of an exciting season and show off your skills. Need more info? Coach Davidson is just a message away. Let's make this season great. On Tuesday, the Western men water polo team ended their seasons with 18-11 loss of Diamond Bar High School in their CIF playoff. The team finished the season in Coast League Championship and worked hard all season during doing a great job representing Western High School. Congratulations to our Western men water polo on a good season. Go, Go Big Blue! Blue! Piles, tomorrow is varsity football's last league game of the season. But before the game starts, we will be celebrating our cheer, flag football, and football seniors at 615. So come out and support your fellow Pios. And that's, and that's all, all we have, have for today, today Piles. But wait, time for the big reveal. Drum roll, please. It's Isaiah Chavez Valadez. His friends call him Unk, and in 10 years, Isaiah sees himself with a secure career in welding, living in his own place. Isaiah also wants to give a huge shout out to his Lord and his Savior, Jesus Christ. He says, if, I wasn't, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be the person I am today. Thanks for sharing your story, Isaiah. We're rooting for your bright future. Today's outro song is Lotus Flower Bomb by Miguel. This song was praised by critics for its catchy lyrics and romantic theme. <coughs> And as always, Pioneers, make sure to stay connected with us on all your favorite social media platforms using at the Pile Press. Be sure to tag us on all your favorite photos and videos using hashtag Pile Press. If you'd like to be featured as a Wayback, Throwback, or Flashback, reach out to us using at the Pile Press. As always, Piles, we hope you have a wonderful, wondrous, wholesome Wednesday. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Press on, Piles. Let rap to you real quick. I want to enjoy the luxury of life. Don't ever put me on. Lord is flower bomb, firefly. When I'm low, she take me high. I can teach you all the sounds of love.